Hello, my lovelies. This message is for the Twin Flame Collective. I'm getting a message of, we are coming. If you're in a Twin Flame connection that's been in the runner chaser dynamic for years and you think you're very close, you feel like you're very close to reunion and that there's only a few things blocking you, like you got so close to reunion and then something happened and you're not sure why. The message I'm getting is now is the time to throw all the rules out the window. Now this isn't for everybody. This is specifically for those who, let's say you were typically the chaser and then you pulled your energy back from this person multiple times and then they started chasing you and you guys got back together but there were still lessons you need to learn there are tower moments that are happening all around you guys it's a very heavy energy it's like there are tower moments happening left and right and you might think it's one thing you might think it's another thing so you might be going jumping around, hopping from thing to thing, like trying to fix this problem, trying to fix that problem. You're trying to heal and heal and heal. And you're like, I've done all this healing. Why is it still not working? And God is saying, it's time to throw out the rule book. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to be real. If you have not been already, this is the time for you to serve your community, serve the greater good, and God's gonna handle the rest. God knows the desires of your heart <laughs> and he knows that you've been doing the work. So don't get trapped into thinking, and this is where the devil attacks you, that you might get trapped into thinking, oh, there's something I haven't healed yet and something I haven't let go of yet or something that person needs to heal and let go of. There are things, but the thing is nobody's ever gonna be 100% healed. That's why we need God. I think God is trying to show a lot of us that we've done all the healing that we can do right now, and it's time to let him take control. So go out and serve your community however you can whether it's through your church, through a local organization, through helping out a friend, through starting your own YouTube channel by doing tarot readings, by donating to um, a charity, donating to someone in need, donating to, hey, donating to your favorite, you know, YouTuber like me. <laughs> um, if you want to, honestly, that would be amazing. That would bless me so great because I'm going through a lot right now and I really do need some financial help. Um, I'm, I don't want to get too deep into this, but like it's one of those things where every single job I apply for, even, I mean, I'm applying for the big jobs and I'm applying for the little jobs. I'm applying for, you know, um, I even applied for a janitor's job down the street at a local church. Um, so I could walk there and just make some sort of money, make some sort of income, have some, some sort of income for the holidays to provide for my son. But I'm still getting turned down left and right for every little thing. Like, I don't understand why. And maybe something like that's happening in your life. It might not be a job thing, but it might be something else where you're like, why is every single door closing? And God's been telling me it's because it's not because of the runner chaser dynamic it's not like anything like that it's not that i haven't healed it's not that i haven't learned it's that i need to be first of all more grateful i thought i was grateful enough i'm doing my gratitude journal and stuff but things have been coming about to show me that even though i think i'm being grateful i still have some i don't really show it or feel it as much i don't embody that gratefulness and i'm not serving the community in the way I do. I serve the community when I feel like it. And that might be something you guys, um, a message for you guys. And don't do things only when you feel like it. It's hard, it's so hard. And sometimes I get trapped into trying to like 
do so much to get myself feeling in the right mood and to get the right vibration. And God's telling me to let you guys know all of that work is good. Raising your vibration is good, but the easiest way to raise it is to be grateful and be grateful by serving others. Show your gratitude by serving others. That might look like different things to you. Um, it could be helping a friend clean their home or it could be doing something nice and forgiving someone who really doesn't deserve it. They're really not showing you that they are regretful and remorseful. But if you forgive anyway, that will help. God is working on both of you individually. And it's really not for the reasons you think. It's not because your person doesn't love you. It's not because you don't love them. It's not because either one of you has like the runner chaser thing. Throw out those rules. It's all about your connection to the divine now. If you are in a twin flame connection, and this isn't for everybody, this is those specifically who are in a twin flame connection, you've got to remember the whole purpose of twin flame connections is to for you both of you to heal and unite, but you're not uniting just to be happy, fun, yay, we're, I got my soulmate, woo! No, it is to serve God, to serve the greater good, whatever that means to you. So if you don't know what it is, a lot of us get stuck in soul searching and not moving. We have analysis paralysis. Just get out there and move. Get out and serve God however you can. Serve your community however you can. Anything that you can think of, go out there and serve with a grateful and humble heart. Humility. Humility is so huge right now. That's what God's teaching me right now is humility because we can get into this I'm so blessed and God is so good and I'm divine feminine and my divine masculine is coming to me. We are counterparts. We are blessed. We are divine, but we forget to use that to serve others. So please remember that. Okay. I love you guys. Bye-bye. God bless you. Mwah.